Hey, it's your main man Tony from Brooklyn. And let me tell you two, three things about the best video game website I've ever come across in my entire life, okay? It's this place called GamersGather.com, alright? You're gonna wanna go there to get all of the latest video game news on the planet first, alright? Alright, welcome back. Uh, we'll jump right back into Sony then. Sony? Uh, Sony came out a little later in the evening. There was like a two or three hour break. Uh, this was my most anticipated conference. Uh, see if it lived up to the hype. Uh, they start off the show with a look at Destiny. Uh, the beta begins next month. Alpha... Now. No, no, no. no, 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 no. For Alpha, oh, no, sorry. Alpha is out right Alpha now. Alpha is out now. Yeah, until um, tonight. Yeah, until tonight, um, I had a chance to play it. What'd you think? Um, I think it's uh, Halo with a Mass Effect skin on it, with a little bit of Borderlands elements. It's not a bad game at all, but uh, there, there's a lot of similarities to Halo. Good. I, I heard, uh, I didn't get to play on the show floor. It was invite only for the first day. Okay. And it was a really long line the second, third day. Uh -huh. It was the biggest, one of the bigger games on the PlayStation booth, but it was also at the Activision booth had its own section. Um, I heard it was a lot, the, the, the multiplayer play, did you play the multiplayer? Yes. Is it play like old Halo? Kind of, yeah. Like Halo 2 Halo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, there's a that's couple of vehicles, there's some turrets. Uh, it's that basically, uh, um, conquest, so you capture the three different points and, you know, they go back and forth. I like old Halo. Yeah, multiplayer. I mean, it was, it was good, it was, it was cool, um, but it, it, it felt a lot like Halo. That's a, a good lot. thing, though. It's a very good thing. If it, especially if it's old Halo. Yeah. Uh, next, we had a little indie title called Entwined announced. Uh, Ryan Berg's Game of the Show. <laughs> <laughs> it looked okay. It looked interesting. It's a little weird flight, two things entwined. Uh -huh. And that was the second game uh, of the day that was available. Right now. Right then. Yeah. So Entwined and is available it. right now on uh, PS4 and PS3 for 10 bucks. Yep. Uh, we got a little infamous DLC announced. Um, uh, first Light, yes. Yeah, uh, it's a playable character. It's that chick from in the campaign. I heard you can you can download this DLC without the original game, and you can play it. That's a same story. thing they did Might with Infamous Two with the vampire thing. That was a standalone, standalone. thing too. Uh, kind of Festival of Blood or yeah, yeah whatever. That's, yeah. Uh, next, we had the the biggest game I think Sony announced, uh, Little Big Planet Three. Yeah, uh, I had a long uh, playthrough. Uh, the developers are not very good at playing video games. Uh, they missed an awful lot of jumps in the game that they've been working on. At least it wasn't pre-recorded for the last couple yeah. Of years. Yeah, yeah, because it's a lot uh, of work. People do make mistakes, but they elected to make an awful lot of mistakes. Uh, miss. I know it's hard playing in front of a few million people. I'd probably screw up too. I actually love the fact that there was mistakes during the game yeah. and everything because it shows, you know, even the people that are know. making the game, you know, that, that you can kind of mess up. Too, yeah. You know? This was, I got to play this game, four player. Yeah. This was my favorite game at E3. What character? I played as the big guy who can shrink down into the little guy. Yeah. And I like the, I just love the cooperative puzzle solving. Yeah. It's amazing. We were playing me and my buddy Ben and these two girls who had no idea what the hell they were doing. Uh -huh. And we're like yelling at them, telling them what to do. Yeah. Uh, th that's definitely one of those titles that you're, if you're sitting on the couch with somebody, you're probably going to punch them. Yeah. <laughs> I said jump, damn it. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this will be the game I will get a PS4 this year to play this. For sure. It looks really good. Uh, and all the Little Big Planet 2 levels are user created levels are coming over. Mm -hmm. so. Here's the only problem that I have with Little Big Planet is that we know for sure at some point it'll be a plus title. The other, yep. all Little Big Planet 1, Little Big Planet 2, yep. and Karting have all been plus That's titles. That's okay. Here, here's the thing though, right? Like, I want to play this. But knowing that I'm going to get it for free if I wait six months or a year? No, it won't be. I don't know. Uh, carding was uh, one and two came out. Yeah, Plus wasn't around. They're like four or five years later. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. It, it's something that I might have to carding also Carding also bombed, and which I, is why they gave it away so quick. Is Little Big Planet a $60 game? Yes. 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 It will, okay. 
Wasn't there wasn't there for a long time there was a PS3 bundle with a little big plan? Yes. Wasn't yes. that a giveaway game? Yes. Yeah, it was a bundle in. Yeah. Okay, I hope they do a bundle for it, because that's you know, for four hundred, mm-hmm. that'd be great. Uh, the next... bundles seem to be starting at four fifty, so you save ten bucks. Yeah, I hope, a no, maybe one. with a little big plan, maybe they Maybe. But I might get the Destiny bundle too, because that game looks good. Yeah. The multiplayer. Uh, next up, we had a trailer for a game called Bloodborne. Uh, this is going to essentially be the the spiritual successor to the, the Souls series, mm-hmm. uh, as in Demon and uh, Dark Souls. Dark. From, from software. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, it looks cool. The trailer blew me away, but it's not really my game. Uh, it was very, in, in terms of like the, the presentation, if anybody remembers the game Nightmare Creatures? No. Old PS1 titles, Nightmare Creatures 1 and 2. It, it looks a lot like that. Yep. Uh, oh, next we got uh, more 4 Car 4. We already talked about it. Uh, after that we got a uh, new Dead Island 2 trailer. Uh, total funny. Total CG. Yeah. Uh, it looked, yeah, it was funny. Completely um, different I, direction in the trailer from Dead Island 1, if you remember that one. Yeah. That rewinded fucking... Yes. Horror story. Yes, th- this this was cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just looks like more. Yeah, it'll be about the same. Yeah, that yeah. island. Uh, then we got a small reveal that there's gonna be a Last of Us um, crossover with with Diablo. Diablo. Yeah, don't care. Yeah, um, when they announced the la- or announced the Last of Us Definitive Edition or HD or whatever. They they, had no, show, they showed another back. look at it. I mean, yeah, it was, it was just like the first time. But they could... confirmed the release date. Yeah, they confirmed yeah. the release date oh, a month from now. Yeah, and then that it will have there will be characters in Diablo. What there was rumored it was not going to come out this year, or it was going to be late this year. But then it went up on it's already it's been on pre order for the PS4 on the store for a month now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, more Battlefield Hardline. We already talked about that. Uh, Disney Infinity 2 and Magicka 2 get showcased. Mm-hmm. Magicka 2 was a cool uh, reveal trailer. That was a cool trailer, yeah. yeah. With that. <laughs> yeah. For the job. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, that, that's a fun yeah, That was game. pretty funny. I didn't realize they were going to do a Disney Infinity 2. I thought it was just going to be expansions on the original Disney. That's what I, I was under the assumption. Probably should have done that, but. Yeah. I don't think this one will do well. I really there's just so many of these out there. Yeah, now. I mean, this is Marvel, though, so. The, if there's any chance of it ever doing well, it'll be the Marvel characters. I, I think Skylanders has shown the year to year that they could succeed. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If, uh, I think Disney Infinity did a lot because it was brand new. I can't see Part Two doing as good as Part One. Whereas I could see it might if they actually make the game good this time. They just kind of no. left it up to people. Disney I, Infinity was opinion. not a good game. That's no. an opinion. I. I, I the characters are what sold it. Skylanders actually a decent game. Yeah, they have like good levels and everything. It's true. Come, Disney Infinity left it up to the players to make what the game good. What is the new Skylanders called? Um, Something Force. Force. Swamp Force. Swamp. Yeah, that's the one that came out last year. Yeah. Like, uh, There's another one for this year too. No, Swamp Force came out last year. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know about what this, this one is. I, I don't pay enough attention. Neither of them said anything at any conferences regarding Skylanders. So. Grim, Grim Fandango is getting a remake. Which was nice. a, 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 a very funny little letter thing that they did on stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it back. What's Didn't it show is. anything about the game, but Didn't that's you? fine. Grim Fandango will be a fun Some concept art. Yeah, it'll be a fun time. Uh, Pseudo 51 came out next, and... What the fuck was that? <laughs> they have a PlayStation exclusive called Abzu, I think? No, 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 no. Theirs was... Um, let it die. Oh, let it die. Yeah. That game. Yes. That was a horror game, right? Yeah. It's yeah. That, that weird we'll horror game thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, there was a lot of horror games. They. Uh, Abzu shown. was the the. The fish underwater game. game. Yeah. yeah. The creepy ass underwater game. That can ounce too. They're like little mini. Yeah, that's titles. by the people that made Flower. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or no, Journey. The same that game same, company. Same, same developer. I don't know. I've never played any. Uh, Flow Flower and. Yeah. Uh, any Journey. any games that involve being underwater. Like that creep me out. Mario Kart. No, no, because there's not a giant shark showing out my face. Um, afterwards, we got uh, another big look at No Man's Sky. I thought this game would be further behind than it is. Because it looked a lot better than it did last year. Yeah. But it, explosions. This was probably, I thought, one of the bigger games shown it. The, they announced that it's like an infinite world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And 
the world is so big and it's ever evolving every time somebody new signs up that you might never, you will have very little interactivity yeah. with other people. Talk so. about humble. When that guy was on stage, you could tell he was just nervous and just, it was, that was a very good, like, even though he kind of stuttered and, and he was very real feeling, you know, compared to the pre planned speeches and stuff that you get out of some of the developers or what's his name from Sony who apparently takes Can't a page stop pointing. out of Bill Clinton. That's <laughs> I Obama. Did not. That's Obama. Clinton did it first. Yeah, Obama. I did Obama. not. No, I repeat, Clinton I did not. not. Is the finger. Yeah. Obama's he's got like that this. Like, really awkwardly long yeah. bent finger. And either way. Yeah, he did that a lot and then you ever see the Clinton finger? Yeah, I've seen it. Captain Hook. Uh, we got a brief look at Project Morpheus uh, next. They showed they showed an image said it was playable on the floor. Did you get a chance to put one of those suckers on your face? It was a long line. Yeah. It was two hours and more. Jeez. So I, I I skipped it. Yeah. YouTube's coming to PS4. Yeah. With instant uploads. Twenty five free to play games are coming within the next year. Okay. No reviews. Uh, PlayStation now beta begins July 31st. That's not right. It's already began. Open beta to... to mm, mm, yeah. Okay. Open beta begins uh, Minecraft's coming to the Vita. Yeah. Tony won't play it. Okay. Uh, it's the only Vita announcement there. No, there's a bunch. There's the PlayStation Vita, Vita. TV. There was the... Uh, Vita it's not Vita TV. Yes, there it was is. TV. It's there PlayStation was. TV. They changed the name. It's Plays Vita Games. It's the Vita... I, I know. I'm, so, I'm just saying that what the image showed on the screen said PlayStation TV. There was a ton of Vita games playable in this whole section. Walk up and play. No line. Almost nobody playing the vast majority of them. Most of them are indie games and such. Yeah. But like, if you ever wanted to just play a game... I heard there was like, like 50 games over there on display. New Vita games. There was maybe six rows and probably 10 Vitas in each row. Yeah. About 50, 60 Vitas. And you can just walk up and play, no wait for almost any of the games. Nice. Uh, the Vita TV, hundred bucks for one hundred forty. You get a DualShock Three controller, an eight gig memory card, and a free copy of Lego Movie game, which is a really good deal because uh, the yeah the DualShock alone is worth more than the forty additional dollars. Yeah. Um, That's coming this fall. Yes. We also got. Gameplay footage of Mortal Kombat X, not 10, X. Ooh. It's a play on words, but they're calling it X. It is the 10th game. Yes. Oh, no. That's why it's a play on it. It's not really a play on words. X is the Roman numeral. Well, X is also the Roman numeral for 10, but they're calling it X. Yeah. yeah. Technically, it's not the 10th Mortal Kombat game. It's like the 15th. Of the main franchise. Just saying. <laughs> Final Fantasy. Hey, Final Fantasy hasn't been able to do their number system. Anyways, uh, Mortal Kombat. I'm about it. Cool. I liked Mortal Kombat the reboot or nine mm -hmm. two thousand. This, this follows the story of that one. Um, we got a, a character reveal. Uh, I don't remember her name, but it's Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage's child. Oh. Yeah, and she has two different fighting styles. She has a, uh, military and Hollywood. Nice. Um. Sony announced the Powers comic book will become a TV show on the PlayStation Network. It's kind of following. Took way too much time, Brian Michael Bendis. Yeah, a little too long, I thought, for this. Way too long. Way too long. The conference as a whole, the Sony conference was a little too long. Yeah, yeah. I think it was because it was boring. There was yeah. nothing happening. Well, I don't understand all why these boring people say that. Like, nothing really. It was just game after game after game. It was like an onslaught of just games. I would have For the done, first half I hour. I would have no, done the whole thing. I would have done it in reverse, okay? I would have come out and talked about Morpheus. We'll talk about TV, powers, and then games. Yeah, maybe they spent, like, every single game had that extra 30 yeah. seconds that they could have come. Um, then the Ratchet and Clank movie, which does personally interest me, but has no place at E3. Uh, Ratchet and Clank HD remakes in the works. Nothing, uh, no, no video, nothing of that. Comes out in July. No, not the Vita one. No, never mind. Oh yeah, that's right. The first one is yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, sometime uh, mid twenty fifteen. Uh, spring next year to launch alongside the movie. Yes. Uh, Last of Us running on the PS Four. We spent so much time on that. Metal Gear Solid Five trailer. Way too long. That's a good trailer. Though. It was a good trailer. I, I saw it before the conference, though. Yeah. Uh, it's typical Kojima, like over yeah. the top. I like the music. Yeah. 
Definitely. Rubbing the ashes on his face. Yeah. Freak. That was good. No, I liked that. That, that was a good trailer. Grand Theft Auto V coming to the next gen. Uh, they showed it on the Sony show. Mm-hmm. Looks like Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, cool. Really quick. Your profiles from past gen for PS3 and 360 will transfer up for multiplayer. It's only on the Rockstar Online. That's only on online. PS4, I think. No, both of them. It's no, Rockstar Online, announced, I believe. Yeah. No, they announced... Didn't they say that your 360... Mm-hmm. To the Sony will, will transfer, transfer to Sony. PS4. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 as long as you have your uh, Rockstar profile, like Mark was saying. That's kind of that's kind of funny and good yeah. Well, yeah. it'll go vice versa. PS3 will go to Xbox One also. But then because who's making that jump, though? I, I went from PS3, I'm going to Xbox Well, you were an Xbox 360 guy. Now you're, but I'm saying in general, people who were predominantly PS3 people last year who are going to Xbox One. There's not that many people, virtually none, that are doing that jump. Maybe specifically with Grand Theft Auto, but I'm saying in general. But most of us are not, most people are not as core gamers that have both consoles, such as, you know. Um, we got some gameplay from Batman Arkham Knight. Looks pretty cool, but I don't think you're going to... Uh, got delayed, so okay. Got delayed. The cool thing, though, is what they did do at the show when the camera pan lay, everybody thought, like, the video was screwing up. And then the, the lights went all crazy and Scarecrow came on the screen. He looked awesome. Mm. I yeah, thought it broke nice. too. They got me with that. I'm like, oh, God. No, I, I knew because you can hear the crows starting in the I'm like, you're not doing this, Sony, are you? You're really having a, a fucking hardware malfunction right now? Yeah. And then and I'm like, that oh, was, I get it. was it. really well done. Yeah, it was cool. It was really well done. It was a giant Batmobile. Then I realized that I'm like, oh, there's probably a point why the camera backed all the way up like uh, that to show all the And then the lights start going over. Yeah. But for like 10 seconds, they got me. I'm like, really? Uh-oh. Uh, and Sony ended on... Did they show anything from the order? Did they show anything from the order? Yeah, at the beginning of the show. Oh, you know, I did get to play that, too. Um, yes, no? Do you like it? Uh, it plays like Uncharted. It's duck and cover. Um, I got to play, it was like a 15-minute demo. Were they showing off, like, that horror uh, section that they showed off the in the Sony show? Did you get to play through that? The what? Motor? Well, like when the, in the their conference, it was like that horror where you're like running from the monster. No, 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 it was okay. not that. It, it was, was more just shooting it was an action portion where you're ducking, covering, killing guys. Gotcha. Uh, you have to mess around with some of the weapons. Uh, the the atmosphere feels really good in that game. Sweet. That one looks good. Next yeah. year. I'm looking very forward to that game. Yeah. Well, but there's a game that he's looking more forward to. And there's like the slow motion shooting thing. Which seems kind of like new friendly. Yeah. Like yeah. you can just hold L and everything goes slow motion. You can just press R. You don't have to aim. Like every auto aims. Every game does it now. Yeah. Every but third person game do does it. Does the slow the, the max pain yeah. effect? Yeah. Looks good though. I, I I thought that looked okay. And the show closed out on Ooh. arguably Sony's biggest franchise, uh, Uncharted Four. Yes. Uh, some questions got answered, and even more. Are now being asked. Did you go back and watch what I was talking to you about? No. Uh, mainly from the teaser that got showed at GDC, a lot of people were under the assumption that maybe Nate Drake wasn't in this one because it was some random voiceover and nothing was happening. And it was just uncharted. So that got an, that got figured out. Nate's definitely in this one. Sully's definitely back because he was talking to him. Uh, I'm assuming the whole cast of characters was back. Uh, Nolan North is under the impression it's the last one. What do you feel? Probably. Uh, that's the other questions it's bringing up is the way it's titled mm-hmm. and the dialogue that was going on during the actual trailer all leads everyone to believe that this is it. And then, I think Naughty Dog didn't even want to make this game. Even, because, as a, even if it's not it, as a reference, there's when they showed the skeletons in the cages, there's one with a little cigar... Which I think is all BS because he's talking to I'm, someone I'm just, all the time. But, uh, I'm just letting That's you know it could still be a reference to it. The other piece of news to come out of it, and I'll let you close that part out, is, is that there's pirates. Mm-hmm. Best in the franchise because he's got in pirates. The, franchise. <laughs> uh, the game looked absolutely gorgeous, and it was supposedly running in the engine that wasn't like computer done. Uh, so if it looks like that, wow. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I uh, Yeah, there was a lot of... Hints that it may be in the last one. I don't think Naughty Dog wanted to even make this game because they typically don't keep series around longer than a generation. They they do a series, they move on. They did it with 
Jack and Daxter before it and Uncharted kind of had its time on the PS3 and now they wanted to do something new. And I think it's their biggest Sony franchise, so they're kind of like, you at least have to make one more. Yeah. Well, they, they, so, they, they've proven with Last of Us that they don't need a franchise backing. They yeah, I know. To, you know. So they can start whatever they want and they can, I think, almost expect to get 5 million units. So mm -hmm. not like, That's a good point, yeah. So they, you know, they, like the Last of Us sell, Uncharted 3 had a lot of bundles with the PS3, but I mean, did it sell just as well? Uh, like, uh, Uncharted sold over 10 million. Uncharted 3 sold over 10 million? Because of all the bundles and stuff. Okay, Uncharted 3 was the highest selling? Yeah. Okay, maybe that's not a good comparison, but yeah. you understand. No, no, I know what you're getting at. Uh, I, I think Last of Us did very, very well. They were very happy with the sales. I think it was over five. I think it was like seven. So, yeah. um, and we'll see, it's only going to get higher now with the re-release, but um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I don't even know if they really wanted to make this game, but they're making it, and uh, I think they want it to be last hurrah, where they kind of close the chapter on their own, on their own time. So yeah. that's Sony. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll move over to uh, the big end now. Um, Which was the next morning. Yeah, this was on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, they were the last major conference, but they weren't even really. What was it, like a direct? Yeah, digital event. Digital was, event, yeah. yes. They kicked it off with, with some robot chicken humor. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a... <laughs> I thought that was really funny. It was. And then they did the uh, Awada versus, uh, you know, the child Reggie. fan. Uh, Reggie fils -Aimé. Yeah. That guy is big. I don't That's know. Really, he's yeah. like six foot three or six something? Three. Yes. Is it? He's six three. I, you know, I, was, I was like standing right next Did to him. You get, did you get to meet him? I didn't get to meet him, but I, you know, I think I might have agreed. Of course, you, you didn't have your DS, yeah, so you didn't get the street pass with any of them. Small child. No. <laughs> What'd you say? Good thing you weren't the small child. You would have to oh, but there was a child to... Then he would have found you. There was, uh, there was a closed, in the in Nintendo's booth, they had the, their private section, and then they had a That's second floor that was just off limits. You couldn't go. Okay. And they had a private kids only event there. Oh God! And they're showing <laughs> some of their some of their games. All right, um, we're getting the amoebas. We are. Uh, we're getting the amoebas, the Skylander ripoff for Nintendo. They work on your Wii U gamepad. You're getting Mario, Zelda, all those things. Little figurines pop on. They come in game. First playable game, Smash. Smash. It's interesting that they're going to be a multiple game deal. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious to see what the implementation is, but. That has, I think, a potential to, to sell. And that answers the question about Diddy Kong in Mario Kart. Because he's it. in the advertisements, but he's not in the game. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's retail purchased DLC. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's exactly what it is. I, that, I like that idea. Mm -hmm. like no, that. it's just you're getting something tangible with your DLC. It's, yeah. yeah. Instead of getting a ten dollar pack, you're getting the pack, but they're also throwing in this piece of plastic. Which but people, care, I think, a lot of people care about the plastic. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. That's yeah. why it's tangible DLC. Well, you make it sound like a negative. <clears throat> no, it's a positive. You're getting this piece of plastic. <laughs> uh, Smash Brothers came out next, and you're actually going to be able to use your Mii fighters. They come in three different classes: brawlers, sword fighters, and gunners. It looks cool. I mean, right. like. <laughs> I thought you I thought there was some symbolism on. between Iwata and Reggie fighting because yeah. you know Nintendo of America can never <laughs> get anything done without Japan's approval. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Yoshi's Woolly War World coming in 2015. Sports co-op. This Played was it. this was the worst part of their conference. Uh, it, well, it, the the game itself is fun, but it's more of the same. It's more Yoshi's Island style mm -hmm. gameplay. I mean, Again, it looks gorgeous. One of those it videos that amazing. they could have cut all the, the fat from it. Come out, show the title, show the game, show the multiplayer, and be done with it in, in, in three I, minutes. In it's Nintendo's good. defense, they had the shortest conference yeah. by yeah. far. So they didn't really need to trim too much fat. It was only like 41 minutes long. Yeah. They, um, the game is only two players. I'm a little disappointed by that. I don't understand why they couldn't put a four-player mode. All the different colors. Because you could, you, like, I played it with, with a friend, and you can, like, Gobble them up and shoot them up. It's fun, mm -hmm. but it's more of the same. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, my Nintendo game of the show. 
This is sick, dude. This is straight out of Mario Cats. Yes. Uh, these are at the end of some levels where Toad has these little mini missions yeah. that you incur. Oh, and God. somebody had a great idea that I didn't think of. Let's just expand on this and make a full fucking game out of it. It's, this it's, shit looks sick, dude. It's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, There's man. one level where you're fighting this giant boss. Like, you're Toad, so you have no means of attack. Well, that's what they were saying. Like, literally, one single Goomba can, can take you down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it is in those. It's all like thinking. Like they're like little puzzles. Yeah. They're at the end of Super Mario Cat. It's great. I, I was talking when you're playing the giant monster and you have to like constantly hide, duck, and cover, and then you run. One of my friends referred to it as Gears of Toad. <laughs> nice, <laughs> like duck and cover, throwing turnips at people. Nice, Toad of War. Looked really cool. <laughs> Toad of War. <laughs> uh, Zelda came out, sir. Which one? Legend of Zelda Time. I'm assuming this would be the Wii U. The, the they, they, Zelda did, they did no. Zelda Wii U first, I believe. I they showed it. That 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 footage was in game. Uh, the in engine. In engine. Um, big thing is that it's open world. So Skyrim. Like uh, Ijenuma had said in that trailer, there's mountains in the background. You can just get on your horse and go there. Mm -hmm. So uh, and in particular, he referenced back to the original Legend of Zelda. Where right from the beginning of the game you can go almost everywhere, so more of that. Mm -hmm. um, graphical style is more the advancement, I'd say, of the Skyward Sword style. Yeah, it was like a hybrid. I, in my opinion, it's like a hybrid between the realistic with the color palette and art style of Skyward. So he looked a little bit more mature and a little bit more refined. I don't think he did. I, I don't know why people are saying that. If you look at the side by side mm -hmm. of the of a high res picture from Skyward Sword, and yeah. they look. I, I just went like. With more the, watercolor, with the I think now. Yeah. Before. But um, look good. Uh, I like that it's more open world, and they're going to continue a lot of the things that they started with a link between worlds mm -hmm. with um, with the new Zelda. This game ends yeah. up being called. another another example of where, and I, and I understand, you know, but I'm bringing it up anyways. No, even like flash across the screen, 2016, 2017. They no. they have already announced. Ejen Newman has has announced that it will be playable next E3. Mm -hmm. So we're already, you know. At yeah, least, you'll get that boss fight that just happened, that they showed. That. We're at least 16 months minimum, basically, yeah. away. Mm -hmm. All right, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Not playable on the show floor, but Pokemon's never been playable on the show floor. Yes. Yeah. What are you gonna play a Pokemon? Mega evolves, uh, you know, completely rebuilt from the ground up off the old ones. It's Pokemon. It's gonna sell like gangbusters. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Poor. Yeah. I, I don't think I will get this one, but I just played X and Y. Shoot, so. am I doing a review then? No. <laughs> Bayonetta two uh, still looks good, and a big surprise came out. They're actually including Bayonetta one mm -hmm. with uh, Bayonetta two. And they have like special costumes where you can play as too, yes. Link. I think that's to try to draw the Nintendo audience who yeah. might not be familiar with the game mm -hmm. into it a little bit. We'll see if it works. Mm -hmm. I think it'll sell half a million. And I, I don't know if Platinum will consider that a success or not, but um, I don't know what their break-even point is. But they, I think it'll they really have to know that it's not going to be, uh, you know, a big seller for the most part. I, I they would think to... if it sells half a million, would that be considered a big success or not? Maybe. Mm -hmm. On, a, on the Nintendo platform, probably. Yeah, I think that's a good target. Probably puts it up in the mm -hmm. top half of the games at least. Is this, is this something that you're interested in picking up? I don't think I'll. This is the only game on the show floor from Nintendo that I didn't play. I just didn't have interest. Mm -hmm. Hyrule Warriors next. Uh, sports two players, one on the TV and one on the tablet. Zelda, Impa, and Minda are playable. September 26th. It's a Dynasty Warriors style game. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody's played Dinosaur Wars, mm -hmm. it's more of that. Mm -hmm. uh, not canon. Yeah. Not in the Zelda, you know. Yeah. Uh, there were slots for nine playable characters. They have yet to reveal all the playable characters yeah. yet. So. But we got a little tease of, of Ganon at the end of the trailer, yeah. which yeah. I'm assuming he's going to be a playable character, not a boss. Uh, Maybe both. They did say that they uh, some of the playable characters might surprise you. I don't know what that means. But. Like Mario. <laughs> Let's be realistic. It's Mario. Yeah. Um, fun, but it was a little easy. Uh, I didn't 
That's the purpose of Dynasty Warriors. You're like a god amongst, like you're a one man army. Yep. Yeah. There's like people just like there's all these enemies on screen yep. just waiting to be slayed. Yep. That's what Dynasty Warriors have been yeah, for about ten years. Yeah. And then you get to the boss fights, and that's where it, it, you get the 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 curve a little I, bit. Uh, I, uh, from what I understand, there's a difficulty toggle. So maybe you can put it on a harder mode from the beginning to make it a little mm -hmm. more of a challenge. Those grunts still are just cannon fodder. Yeah. Always have they been. They don't even attack, really. Okay. If you, yeah. kind of if you weren't attacking them, yes, they'll go after you. But, you know, if you just spam the X button, they're not going to really hit there, you. There are the, some of the levels they showed Hyrule Field. They showed the, the Twilight, the place from the... Mm -hmm. So there's some familiar places. I'm hoping we get to go like the Dark World or something. Yeah. And, you know. They, they keep saying it's a celebration of the Zelda series. That's what they say. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> right. so. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, coming in 2015. It looked terrible, and I'm a Kirby fan. Uh, suck and blow. Xenoblade Chronicles. Not playable and delayed till 2015. Mm -hmm. Very secretively <laughs> delayed. So they I, didn't say I delayed. thought it was Robotech. <laughs> Uh, Mario Maker. This looks cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. this is nice. Uh, you get to not be a full retail game. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be. Uh, you get to make your own Mario levels. Yes, they might release that at sixty. That'd be. I will buy it for sixty. Bit of a misfortune. Fifteen twenty. Sure. If it came pre-made. Thirty bucks with and under. Fifty levels or no. something. Thirty no. bucks and under. Yeah, maybe it might be just downloadable, not even a retail thing. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping, because I'm all over that as a deal. Fun, as a downloadable game. Splatoon got announced. This looks cool. A uh, little four vs four third person paint squid ink looking game. Uh, you want to take over the territories by laying down more ink than the opposition and yeah, shooting. It's, it's literally gears with very little squid people. It was very strategic. Mm -hmm. Like I, I only played it I think three rounds of it mm -hmm. and fun. I liked it. This has potential. I, I saw this in the direct. I thought this was terrible. Why are they spending ten minutes on this? But then I played it and I liked it. I, I thought the trailer looked pretty cool, what they, what they showed of it. Uh, if if I'm, it's another one of those Assassin's Creed, like if you pick it up and you pick it up, then I'm definitely buying it to play it. But if it's just me playing with I'm people not it randomly, up. Nintendo Network is too. Yeah. So I'm saying it looks good. Not gonna get it. It'll play like Brink. Uh, and then the show closed out uh, on a Star Fox tease type thing, mm -hmm. sort of. Mm -hmm. Miyamoto had three games that he was showcasing the gamepad. One of them, mm -hmm. I think he just called it Project Guard. One was Project Giant Robot. And Great naming. Uh, they're just tech Nintendo demos. and their naming. And they're just weird games with the with the gamepad. Nothing that really stood out to me. Uh, Star Fox was not actually not on the show floor at no. all. It was just behind the scenes revealed. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, I said, in in the the actual direct. You know, they had the, the screen blurred, but you can clearly see the R wings and stuff, you know, going across the screen and everything. It's like, really? Yeah. They did, really, and then they did a 90 minute, uh, they they showed off this new DS game, 3DS game. Steam, Steam. right? Steam. Yeah, they spent 90 minutes on it, so. But, no. And then, a, and then a few new Smash Brothers announcements yeah. after uh, Pac Man's in there. Yeah, and uh, we called it. Oh, we got uh, Lady P uh, the Placenda yeah. from, from Kid uh, Icarus. From Kid Icarus. Smash was the game of the show. When that anime oh, video opened up, I was like, "Why don't they just do like I don't even? They don't even we were, were we talking about it? That it doesn't even have to be a story. Just give us like an anime of different characters fighting like that. Mm -hmm. I'd buy it. <laughs> All right, and that concluded the Nintendo conference. So, uh, how, like, how much? Uh, 10. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Uh, let's truncate everything. Let's do a final thought line. Uh, please do all your final thoughts, your game of the show, and who won E3. Can I start? Please do. Definitely. This year, you know, it's the year after a console launch, so it's got to be all about games. There's nothing else to really tease you. Some companies did way better than you know others. Uh, basically, counting Sony out as the one of the losers of the conference because they you know they had some things but not the the big game of the show for me is Sunset Overdrive and I do give Microsoft the conference because they really didn't even show Connect. They didn't see it coming. <laughs> didn't see it didn't coming. coming at all. Um, I was. I was happy with the lineups of all the games and disappointed that nothing is coming out this year. This is the weakest year, I think, in video games in, in several years. 
Um, as a Nintendo fan, virtually nothing is coming outside of Smash that's going to be a big hit. Pokemon, maybe. And then the, you like the little slight delay they threw in there for, for 3DS? How far is Mario Maker away? Mario Maker is not this year. The Wii U lineup is Hyrule Warriors, um, Smash Brothers, Bayonetta, and of course, Captain Toad. Yes. That's their lineup. And their 3DS lineup is Pokemon and Smash Brothers. So out of all those, I'm getting Captain Toad. Okay. Yeah. Smash Brothers, but I mean, you can't sell two consoles on Smash Brothers. So, the, you know, there's no way they sell 12 million 3DSs as they predicted. And uh, they might sell their 3 point or 2.6 Wii U's or whatever. But um, uh, disappointed that nothing's coming out this year. Uh, I don't, There's not too much that excites me that's coming out this year, minus the third-party games, but I don't really care for them, but it's just a weak year. A little bit planet was the game of the year for me. And another game we didn't talk about at all, it's an indie game, but Broforce. Yeah, that one cool. That, that looks great. I loved it. That looks funny, yeah. Yeah, played through that multiple times. <laughs> you get to play as Rambo and Chuck Norris, and it's like a, it's like a Contra game that where you play like Terraria and such, landscapes. So, so who won E3? Uh, nobody. I thought because, uh, I mean, there's nothing good enough that's coming out this year to me to warrant somebody. I, I, I don't it's think anybody lost, lost, though. I don't think anybody lost, because I think... Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Place haunted. Yeah, I don't think anybody lost. I didn't think Sony's was as bad as people are saying, because I think they did, they did show like 25 games, bearing a lot we saw already, and they showed a little big planet, which was amazing. Um... I agree with Mark. Um, Sunset Overdrive was was the game of the show for me. Uh, followed very closely by uh, No Man's Sky and Valiant Hearts. Those would probably be my my top three. Um, there's there's like I said, uh, even though a lot of it was wasn't was pushed back or delayed or not even given a date. Um, there's enough there for me that I'm interested in across all three platforms, which is like for the first time in my existence as a gamer where I have all three current platforms that I can pick out at least two games for each system that I'm excited about this year. Um, along with that though, uh, keep it short and sweet, if I had to pick somebody uh, as the winner, I would have to go with Microsoft because they came out, they were very humble, they apologized essentially for the mistakes that they made, um, and then just continue to you know showcase games. And that's what E3 is about, it's not about Hey, look, we've got a you know video game or a, a, a TV show coming based on a comic book, or we're going to show you an image of a headset that we don't talk about at all. Um, it's about the video games, and and I think they did a, a damn good job with that. Yeah, I'm going to tag up on what you just said. Uh, I'm of the belief that I'm 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 kind of on Moss's boat. I don't think anybody lost, but uh, I do think clear clearly and decisively Microsoft won this year and this is coming from the resident Sony fanboy uh, Microsoft showcase was amazing that's what e3 conferences should be yeah some of the stuff's a little further away than I'd like it to be uh, but they focused on games a lot of a lot of them and from a lot of different genres there's a little bit coming out for everyone uh, a little bit too much third party uh, I'd knock them down to like an a minus because I wish there was another two or three new fresh IPs coming from Microsoft Studios, but overall it was an amazing show, packed uh, front to back with a lot of games. Uh, my game of the show is going to be Uncharted 4 and Halo uh, Anniversary, uh, and, and from Nintendo, Toad. Those, are, Toad. those are my three from whatever. <laughs> um, right behind Microsoft, I was actually, I, see, I think this built into Microsoft a lot too, I wasn't expecting much. And they surpassed my expectations so mm -hmm. much. And that's why I give a lot of credit to Ubisoft, too. Because minus the dancing crap. And the workout crap. Ubisoft had a really strong conference. I don't, I don't personally care about all of the games. But that's not what makes a great conference is caring about every single game. It's appreciating what they're trying to do and how much new good stuff is coming out from them. And top to bottom, Ubisoft killed it. Uh, if I had to pick a worst show, I think it's EA. Uh... A lot of their stuff was crappy, generic, uh, annualized series, and then there was Battlefield and Battlefront. That was the weakest, but I don't think they lost. That's what EA does. That's their bread and butter is the sports games. Uh, and I think Nintendo and Sony were somewhere in the middle where they both did good enough. Where I don't think either one had a bad show, and they had some good stuff. Uh, Uncharted definitely helped, and Little Big Planet and The Order and stuff like that helped from Sony, but... 
they could have did without Morpheus and, uh, you know, too much time on that Vita and that fucking guy in the purple shirt. Uh, Nintendo, uh, same thing. Nintendo blew me away. <coughs> Thank God it wasn't just dude standing against I, the plane wall. I swear to God, I thought Nintendo was going to have by far the worst show. And it's the same reason, you know, I give a lot of props to Microsoft this year. When you go in, kind of like, eh, what are they really going to show? A Smash and... Hopefully we get a really cool Zelda trailer, so there's at least something to be excited about, and maybe a 3DS game or two. Uh, no, Nintendo fucking killed it. Uh, they had a lot of dumb stuff with that fucking yarn that we've talked about at great lengths, and a lot of crap could have been cut, and I understand they're a Japanese company, but Sony, every two seconds, didn't have somebody speaking in Japanese that needed to get translated. Uh, they understand that they're speaking to the American audience right now. Nintendo had way too much stuff that needed to be translated. Uh, could have Americanized it a bit or just had a voiceover talking for them instead of, I don't know. Um, but all, overall, Nintendo did really, really good. Uh, I think the the clear winner is Microsoft, though. Uh, if you, I, I, I think you missed the conference, which is why you don't... Yeah, yeah I, I didn't see it. If, if you would have seen it, I think you'd agree with the rest. Uh, we've never been in unison. I don't think ever. And we all think Microsoft won it this year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a really good show. Uh, I had fun with E3. I, I, I think you seem a little more disappointed than me because stuff's further away yeah. and whatnot. Uh, that's usually how E3 is. You know, Some stuff gets announced for later in the year. Some stuff's looking ahead into the future. You know, Usually there's a few big games that are announced and released. I also yeah. think we got that next-gen lull because, yeah, you know, I think yeah. yeah, so. But I think, I think it was a good showing. I, I had a lot of fun this past week. Uh, as I've said in the past when we've, we've done these little debates, uh, in my opinion, as, as the the consumer one, there was there was very little garbage mm -hmm. in there, you know, shovelware as we yeah. put it in the past. It was okay. even, even though there was a lot of sequels, there was still a lot of innovation and a lot of fresh IPs. Yeah, the, the triple A game is back again, and the indies are looking better and better. Yeah. They're so, they're filling in that middle tier void exactly. that like THQ used to take care of. Uh -huh that is now gone because of THQ yeah. and companies like that and Criterion and all these companies that went under, indies are stepping up where it's no longer a $2 title or a $60 title. Well, yeah. They're filling that void. Yeah. So that's that's really exciting. Well, I think Nintendo have... is helping that void too with games like maybe Mario Maker or Captain Toad that are, yeah. might not be 60 40 maybe. bucks or whatever. Yeah. 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 I'm still kind of disappointed in No Majora's Mask, but you know, I'm, I'm one of a million. It just announced that Grezzo, who made Ocarina of Time 3D, is hiring. Mm. To make a legendary game. Ooh, legendary! That's unfortunate that nobody's going to get that one right. But uh, So that'll do it. Uh, we apologize for Mark who had to leave the last time minutes. He has a softball game. But um, we got pretty close to the end anyway. So uh, that'll do it for this week. Let us know what you guys thought of E3 in the comments below. And uh, that's it. We'll see you guys next week, same time. Oh, no. We're, next week we're doing the predictions show with uh, Andrew, yep. for sure this time. So, <laughs> catch us next week, same time, same place.